Hello, everybody, and welcome to Faith on Friday Extra. This series is all about highlighting people, topics, and businesses that I hope you will find interesting, entertaining, motivating, but always encouraging. And I'm your host, Ricky Smith. Today, I want to introduce you to Sean Coleman. Not only is she a successful chef, caterer, wife, mother of six, and a military veteran, she is also a survivalist, if you will, from being adopted. Sean, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Now, Sean, all of those things that you have going on, you are extremely successful. Now, being adopted growing up, tell us a little bit about your adoption story. So um, I have four siblings, it's four of us all together, two boys, two girls. And at 10 months, I was given up for adoption. And at 10 weeks, my sister was given up for adoption. Okay. Wow. Now, all of you all have the same parents, right? That is correct. Okay. So you were adopted. So did you know your parents at all? No, I didn't know them. I would see them. I do vividly remember at the age of six to eight, they would always come to our house, but I never knew they were my parents, but they were family that would come over and stay to mm -hmm. our house. Well, who is it that adopted you? Did you know them or they knew your parents, obviously? Correct. I was adopted by my father's sister. So my aunt, she adopted me. Oh, okay. Okay. So you were raised by a family member adopted out to that, and your parents would still come and visit you. Correct. Wow. When did you find out that you were adopted or that those family members were your parents? Uh, I find out they were my parents and that I was adopted and that this wasn't my mom and my sister and brother at the age of 12. Wow. So you were 12 years old when you found out not only that you were adopted, but that the family member that would come and visit were your parents? That's correct. That must have been so hard for you at 12 years old. How did you handle that? It was hard because uh, my sister and brother that I knew, which were actually my cousins, mm -hmm. they were my sister and brother. Sure. And to find out that this is not my sister and brother, my world was shaken. And I really thought that was my mom. I did not know it was my aunt. Uh, so that was a big challenge and adjustment that I had to get used to. Mm -hmm. Did you resent your parents when you found out that you were that they had given you up for adoption? Um, it's not so much that I resented them. Mm -hmm. I, I wasn't raised like that. So it wasn't right. that I resented them, but they were just people to yeah. me. They were just those people. Wow. Not, not the parents, but just those people. Yeah, those people. That's amazing because, you know, in, in our country, we have so many kids that are adopted and some of them go looking for their, their biological families and some of them don't. But you found out and then it was, like you said, they were family members as far as you're concerned. So did you end up having a relationship with them or did you meet them more often after you found that out that you were adopted? Uh, well, not really. We spent a year to try to get me transitioned because my aunt, uh, she fell terminally ill. Wow. And so we tried to transition me from her to my biological parents. Yeah. So I would just do like weekend visits. Uh, mm -hmm. I wouldn't stay the night, but she mm -hmm. would take me over there to see them and spend some time with them. Wow. How did you, how did you enjoy that or not? Uh, I would just stay under my aunt the entire time. <laughs> I right. didn't want to connect. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, you said your aunt was terminally ill. She eventually, I'm assuming, that by that passed away then? Uh, at the age of 13, yes, yeah, she transitioned. Oh, wow. So what happened to you at 13? So at 13, um, we had to go to court because when my aunt adopted me, they didn't have legal documentation oh okay and uh so we had to go to the courts because my cousin who i was raised as my sister sure. um she did not want to force me to go but legally she didn't have a chance she didn't have a a, a, um, a leg to stand on 
Right. So we had to go to the courts and the judge decided that I had to go with my biological mom. And so I was placed in her home at 13. Sean, that is just so much information for a 13 year old girl. The people that I grew up with are not my family. The people that would come and visit are my parents. My mother, who I thought was my mom, has passed away. And now I'm in the home with someone that I don't know, who I found out is my mom, and who also now I know gave me up. How did you handle all of that? Um, I handled it by continuously being a runaway. Really? Yeah, uh, I ran away week after week, month after month for about two years. My gosh. And then what, they kept bringing you back or you kept coming back? Correct. So I would be in school. So the last time they caught me, I was mm -hmm. in school. I was still going to school, even though I was a runaway. Mm -hmm. And I was called to the front office. Um, and when I got to the front office, the sheriff was waiting for me. Wow. And so I went into a group home until they can figure out what was going to be next for me. John, that is amazing. Now, I know earlier we had talked about you became uh, an emancipated teenager as well. Correct. So after the courts, uh, we went to court at the group home mm -hmm. and I was placed um, elsewhere at the age of 16. Uh, I found out that I can be emancipated. And so that's the route that I took. So you basically divorced your parents. Correct. And moved out on your own. And what did you do? Did you have a job? Were you still in school? Did you live on your own? So at age thir well, 14, I dropped out of school. I went back okay. to school at age 16 after upon uh, emancipation. And so that was, that was a struggle because now I'm 16 in the ninth grade. Right. And now, you know, I'm supposed to be graduating in two years. So it took me a, a couple of years to catch up. I had to go to night school and day school. Right. And I wow. also had to go to trade school so okay. that I can get enough credits to be a senior by the age of 18. You have gone through a lot. You know, when you think about a lot of the kids who have been adopted and who may have been going through the same things that you have gone through. How did you come out of that intact with your self-esteem? And I know now you have an actual relationship with your mom. How did you get to that point? Uh, I had a friend in school. She had a similar story. Uh, she wasn't adopted, but she was pretty much on her own as well. Uh, so we helped each other do this time. Uh, she returned to school at 16 as well. So we was like besties. We went to night school together. <laughs> uh, we went to day school. We went to our trade school. And we just, we just stuck it out together until we graduated. Wow. And then you went into the military. Then I joined the military at 18. And my God, it has just been up from there. Man, that is awesome. John, this story is just so multifaceted. There are so many layers to it and so many things I'm sure that you can go into. One of the things I want to ask you, though, because I know that you and your mom now have a relationship. She's met your yes. kids. The kids now yes. have grandma. You now yes. have a mother. What would yes. you say to somebody who has been adopted and gone through some of the trials and trauma that you did to get to this place where you are with your mom right now? I would say um, forgiveness is not so much about the other person. Mm. Forgiveness is about yourself. Um, although you may have those feelings and emotions because they, that your parents did give you away. Um, forgiveness can open up another door of such blissfulness and happiness in your life. It has changed my life and it has changed my children's life for the best. I think the greatest gift I have been able to give them was their grandmother. There Aww. is nothing like a grandmother's or a grandfather's love. Yeah. And I know they must be so thrilled to actually have someone to tell on you too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. I get constant phone calls or text messages 
<laughs> and I have to just give in because they're calling their grandmother. <laughs> that is so awesome. And that truly is inspiring because like you said, there are a lot of kids who are adopted and who are struggling with their with themselves, let alone with who their bio parents are. So thank you so much, Sean, for sharing your story with us. But we're not done yet. We have a game to play. Okay, this game is called This or That, and it's all about getting to know you a little better. So I'm gonna give you one thing or another, and you just have to pick one. You ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. So, McDonald's or Burger King? Burger King. Again, you're a chef. I'm surprised to hear that. <laughs> DC or Marvel? Like basically, Superman or Batman? Superman. Superman. Okay. How about um, text or call? Call. Okay, I can see that in you. Snickers or Three Musketeers? Oh, I love Three Musketeers. Very nice. Okay. Jeans and a t-shirt or dress and heels? Dress in heels. I like it. Okay. Hamburgers or hot dogs? Hamburgers. Oh, I love it. Ice cream or cake? Cake. And finally, what is your favorite Olympic sport? Swimming. Although I can't swim, I love swimming. <laughs> <laughs> I can't swim, but I love swimming. Makes perfect sense. <laughs> John, thank you so much for being with us. I really appreciate it. Hey, everybody, while you're here, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure to leave us a thumbs up, okay? We want to hear from you and give us a comment on today's interview. Also, we're going to put all of Sean's contact information down in the description box so you'll have a chance to contact with her as well. Sean, what is the last thing you'd like to leave with anybody watching today? like to leave you with you have the choice so I would ask of you do not allow your past to defy your future wow that is powerful and a perfect ending everybody thank you for watching and we'll see you next time on extra <laughs>